friends, Jessica here with French Farmhouse Flair. And I just wanted to share with you today my Easter and spring home decor tour of my dining room and kitchen. So let's go ahead and get started. If you watched my recent video of, of my Decorate With Me, you've already seen my Easter tablescape. But I'm going to go ahead and show it to you again and just point out a few things to you. Um, that I did not share in my recent video. So the first thing I want to share with you is this cute little bunny here, little grandpa bunny holding the cane and his glasses. I found him after I did my haul video, so I wasn't able to share him in my haul video, and I found him at Marshall's this year. And the cute little mossy round mat fits on there perfectly. I found that at um, Michael's this year and the little Easter basket there with the chocolate eggs. I already had that. These cute little primitive looking eggs were from my mom. Thanks mom, I love them. They're so cute, aren't they? And this little chicken wire basket here. I want to share these with you because I don't think I showed these in my haul video either. I found these this year at the Dollar Tree, these cute little bunny bags, and I just put the silverware inside of them. And these came in a pack of four, but they had a really um, bright pink cheeks and nose, and that just wasn't going to go with my color scheme this year. So I went ahead and took a Sharpie marker to the nose and cheeks with a white and black marker. And it's a paint paint Sharpie marker that I used. So that just switched it up and made it um, go along with my color scheme a little bit better. I have the polka dot of place. And I also have the striped Easter egg place over here. I'm not going to be pointing out everything, but there's a few things that I do want to mention to you. I got these little tulips this year at Michael's as well. I did not get to show those in my uh, haul video because I got those after I did my haul video. Little chocolate eggs. I believe I shared the cabbage with you in my haul video from Michaels this year. And I already had the carrot, but it was orange and I chalk painted that white. I'm so funny about my color thing. If you guys have been watching my videos, you already know that about me. Up here on my mantle, I added these galvanized bunny banner going across there with some draping um, green moss. Reminds me of the moss that hangs from the trees around here. The big live oak trees. I ended up putting my little moss bunnies that I showed you in my haul video. I put one in here and these were from Hobby Lobby this year. And the other one went on the other side. I just love my little bunny lantern here holding the candle and his lantern. And the little bunny crossing sign. If you watch my haul video, you saw that those were from Home Goods this year. And I have a hippity hoppity Easter was also from Home Goods. If I don't mention something that you're interested in knowing about or where it came from, um, just go ahead and leave me a question at the bottom of, of the video. And um, I will get back to you as soon as I can and answer any questions that you might have. I have a lot of little Easter bunnies up here on top of my cupboards, as well as flowers for the springtime and a lamb. I'm going to be doing a tour of my cupboards, what's inside my cupboards at, at a later time. For you to see but if 
if you remember, I got this Happy Easter little sign, um, and I showed that in the haul. I got that at Walmart this year, and I ended up going back and getting the other one. I was having a hard time deciding between the two anyway, so I got this other one. It says Happy Spring on it. And then the one in the middle there, I've had that um, for a while. Um, might have been from last year, Easter time. But that little Happy Easter sign, I believe I got at Joann's last year. My metal houses that I showed in a haul video, this is where they ended up on top of this antique cupboard. And I just have some Easter bunnies up there, a little um, bird and nest in the other one, and another little bunny in the smallest house, and some little eggs in a jar, and a little fern plant as well up there. And then my farmhouse sign ended up going there. That's where that ended up. I wanted to share that with you because I showed that in a haul video. The Easter greeting sign is from the Dollar Tree, I believe last year. And little birdie hanging there with the sign, it was from Walmart Spring this year. I just wasn't able to share that in a haul, but I believe that was only $1.98, that cute little blue hanging bird. My Bon Appetit sign up there, Mr. Hubster hung that for me because it was so high up there. So that's where that ended up if you watched that haul video. my fresh baked pie sign if you saw that in the video that's where I ended up hanging that close to my bakery sign here I've got some cute little bunnies inside of my little cubbies here houses from Target, from the Magnolia spot at Target. My cute little fried pies sign there when you, and my little cakes and pies there. Another little cute little bunny snuggle in here. This is where I hung my scale and I put some eggs in there for Easter with the grass. So you, if you watched my haul video, you saw that and I just wanted to share with you where I ended up putting that. I have a candle burning over here. And my little chicky. I got this after I did my Easter haul, so I didn't get to show my little chicky to you. And it's to look like the um, the mold, like the old molds. And I got that for $7.99 at Steinmart. I was actually going to Michael's, which is next to my Steinmart, and um, I was going to look for the ones that I saw that on a video that Michael's had. But um, I saw it on someone else's haul video and I really liked the bunny and the chick that were there. But I went to my Michaels and they were completely sold out of them at my store. So I went next door to Steinmart and found that little cutie patootie. So I really love that. I think it's adorable. I really wanted to get a bunny to go with it, but I could not find a bunny. Steinmart only had that little chick. And that was the last one that they had, so I guess I was pretty lucky to find that one. I just added some spring little picks inside of this, and those are from the Dollar Tree this year. I thought those were really pretty. Just kind of add some spring color to my kitchen. 
And then I have my little bunny down in there with a couple little eggs in the bowls. And then I just added a some couple little cute little um, clay garden pots inside there. I may shabby chic those a little, put a little bit of white paint on them and distress them a little bit, make them look really cute, but I haven't done that yet. But I think they look really cute by the little watering can in there. A little mason jar and some little pitchers and different things inside of here. And another little bunny for Easter. But of course I love bunnies any time of the year. They're so cute. My excellent platter. This little bunny was given to me by a lady at the shop where I have a booth at the antique store. And we were having a sidewalk sale and she didn't sell this little bunny at the sidewalk sale. So she gave it to me and it had some really scary looking red eyes and pink um, up in the ear area. So I just, it was scraped off really easily and washed and when I washed it. So it came right off and I was able to make it more neutral for my colors. And just added some greenery inside of it with a couple little picks of little flowers inside of a little planter. So I thought that was a cute little vintage bunny. I just added a little Easter nest, little bird's nest up in the little tea cup. Had my blue hydrangea flowers there. Love hydrangea flowers, my favorite. I have um, these that I added with the grass. Those came with the little grass and they came three in a little box um, at TJ Maxx. I thought those were so cute. So I got those after I did my video haul, um, my Easter haul video. So. I wanted to share those with you. Those were so cute. Those are from TJ Maxx this year. And then um, my little faux chocolate bunny holding the egg in the basket. And then I just add a little nest there beside them. And then I have my little eggs here, my little bunny stand. And then coming over here, I got this after I did my video haul too, so you guys haven't seen that yet but that was from Walmart in the spring section this year. The little candy jar, and I put some candy inside it for Easter. And I just got this Easter card this week in the mail, so I've got that sitting on the counter. And my pretty white hydrangea flowers there in an old milk glass bottle. I put my little bunny towel right here that I got at the Target dollar spot this year. It says somebody loves you. And it came with the pot holder. And then I just put some candy in this little candy jar. Candy dish rather. And I have my little faux chocolate bunny and little little Easter chick there on the egg. I think those are adorable. I have an egg towel over here that my mom had given me. I have another little Easter towel over here hanging on the stove. This is Happy Easter with the bunny on it. In the kitchen, I just put Welcome Spring on my chalkboard that I made. And then the same lady that gave me the vintage bunny gave me this vintage lamb that's a little planter. And um, he also had some color on him that was, the paint was already kind of coming off and chipping off, so I just, Went ahead and scrubbed him good and washed him up and got the rest of the paint off. And now he's just really neutral color, which I really like. And um, just added the little touches of greenery and flowers in there. And then I have my little Happy Easter bunny, wooden bunny from Walmart this year. To add a little Easter touch here in the corner of my kitchen. So until next time, friends, bye-bye.